Today we're looking at the mid Rui Costa, 88 rated, medium low, 5'11", 4 star, 4 star, can only play cam. As you can see here, he's got some really good acceleration and sprint speed, quite good agility and balance as well as composure, amazing passing across the whole board there, and the same with shooting, just his finishing is lacking. And then we have some good stamina as well. In terms of traits, we've just got flair and nothing else too helpful there. Today, we've gone for an architect. You probably know why, but in case you don't, it makes him lengthy on new gen. I'll be talking about old gen chem styles, what I thought about the card, and much more in terms of pricing and positioning at the end of the video. But if not, let's go jump into some gameplay. So with Rui Costa, we are playing him as a cam. I think that's his best position. I've seen a few people recommend playing him as left wing, but I just don't think he's good enough there to play left wing. But we shall find out. Main thing for me with him is his ability to link up play, get the passes forward, and of course, if he's through on goal, can he score and help out in terms of goal contributions? So we get him on the ball here. There he is. See how he feels. So he feels okay on skill. Pretty good at left stick dribbling, I will have to admit, straight away off the start. And we asked where we're going to be playing him just in front of the two CDMs and then in front of the striker as well. It's Costa now. Got Ronaldo through. I think he's just on side. He's just off. And that's exactly where I want him to play in that little pocket of space. Playing Trezeguet and Ronaldo through. That's where he needs to be. Good tackle from Rui Costa. Don't expect that from him. Can he hold the ball off? He can. Lovely little play out. That's what I like about him as well. Not only can he play Cam, he can do a little bit of defensive work if he needs to. Let's go counter attack. Find Costa. It's slow going into drive, but there is that lengthiness coming in. Can we play it behind? I think he's just offside again. He is so close playing that ball. We're going to get it in a second. Costa straight away drives into the space, driving forward. Holding the ball up for a minute. Costa. Ball into Ronaldo. A bit of skill. Shoots cross goal. Great save. Costa picks up again, lays it off to Ronaldo, and there is the assist, and he's, this is a good card, I can tell already, 17 minutes in, he is a very good card, lengthy taking over the game again, and because he is lengthy, he feels unbelievable on the ball, do get ourselves a free kick, pass it short, back to Costa, we're going to take a long range shot if we can, we'll drive forward, a bit of skill, oh, very unlucky there, Costa, look at that for a ball. Ronaldo, another assist for Rui Costa, and this card is good. This card is very good. I would like to know how he feels on old gen, but this on new gen, he feels like a completely new card compared to other FIFAs. Good tackle for him again. Winning the ball back. There he is, holding the man off, driving. We've got Renato Sanchez at the bottom. Look at that for a pass. Left foot, good save. And there are the passes I'm talking about he can do. Not only can he drive forward and execute skill, he's got unbelievable set-piece stats as well. Let's see if we can pick out a striker here. Tries again in the middle. Oof. There is cost a bit of skill to get through. Oh, very unlucky. Did manage to win the loose ball, though. Costa holding the ball up. Good dribbling. He's got very good left dribbling, as I mentioned. Costa driving. It's a tough pass. Not the greatest from Ronaldo there. Good tackle. Keeping that pressure up. Costa. He's got options left, right, and centre. He's going to go all the way. Costa. Good save. Not the greatest long shot there. <laughs> Had to try it. Absolutely orchestrating the midfield. That is mid Hallett, who's absolutely pocketing, though. One of the best guys. We do keep pressure on, though. That's good from Costa. I don't mind that. Keeping that pressure still. A little one two driving out wide. Look at them use the pace again. The lengthy meta coming into play. Oh, very unlucky. They get defended. We do get the loose ball again, though. Costa finds Sanchez back out. Bit of skill gets his way through. One more. Oh, so close to getting that pass. This is a really fun card to use this year. This is when lengthy is a good thing. Costa finds Trezeguet, takes a touch, shoots, and another assist for Costa. We have got ourselves a rage quit. This card is very, very good. In terms of sitting in that pocket, we're playing as a cam and a boxer box. So when we don't have the ball, he drops back. And as soon as he gets the ball, he's exploding straight away into the space. But able to find the passes almost every single time. And not only that, he's got a very good shot on him. Very good at executing skill as well, I have to say. See here, three assists. In terms of possession, 19 dribbles, 14 complete. 
One shot, only one on target, but it didn't go in because he tried to develop it. But this is where the stats really come in. So his passing, 17 passes, 12 complete. Some of them were like Hail Mary through balls, so long distance through balls. But so this card is very, very good. Four tackles, two complete. I don't know if I can show you much more gameplay. This is probably the best game to show you that highlights his experience. I know it's only 41 minutes in game, but it does highlight the best. We're going to go drop onto Footbin now. So we are on footbed, it's 112,000 coins for his mid. If you're looking for that Portuguese icon, uh, Cam, he is definitely the one to go for. New gen, you need architect. There is no conversation for it. Makes his passing good, which is already fantastic, but it most importantly changes accelerate to lengthy, meaning that when he gets running, no one can catch him. And this year, that's so important. It makes him very, very usable. In terms of his finishing ability, there were some other games I played where he did score normal goals. I didn't show them in. I just showed the best game that we had with him and just sort of explaining how he sits in that pocket role and how good he was at passing. If you're on new gen, that's exactly what you should go for. But old gen, you're probably looking at a hunter. That's just to max out his pace and shooting. Obviously, on old gen, it's more about just running and gunning. Not so much about this lengthy business. But if you need a Cam who's an icon, who can play box-to-box -box as well, Rory Costa is definitely your guy. I picked him up for 100,000 coins on bid, so you can definitely get him for that price. If he manages to be a little bit cheaper, that's an absolute bargain. I just find this card is very good at dribbling, very good at passing, very good at shooting. For the price he is, he's one of the best icons in that price range. So a couple of ones we've reviewed on the channel already. We've reviewed almost 50 or 60 icons already. And I thoroughly enjoyed using him. Is he going to be the best guy in the game forever? No, definitely not. Is there going to be better midfielders out very soon about him? Of course. But right now, he is very, very good for that price. As always, though, if you have any questions about this card or any other card, comment down below. If you are new to the channel, consider hitting that like button subscribing. Catch you in the next one. See ya.